May God's peace and mercy be on all of you my friends, welcome to another lesson on plant and tissue culture. In today's lecture we are going to discuss micropropagation. Micropropagation is the production of whole plant from small sections of plant, such as, stem tip, node, meristem, embryo or even a seed. Plant tissue culture is basically the same thing except that it implies the use of callous tissue, generated from plant cells, that are cultured in vitro. Callus is a soft tissue, composed of unorganized and undifferentiated group of cells. Micropropagation, and plant tissue culture, are used to produce large number of plants from small pieces of stock plant, in relatively short periods of time. Why does micropropagation work? Plant have the ability to reproduce the whole plant, from a single cell, this is called totipotency, totipotency, in reference to fertilized eggs, like zygotes, are totipotent because they produce a population of differentiated cells, forming an entire organism, whereas, for example human skin cells, are not totipotent, since in the culture, they divide to produce only skin cells but not nerve cells or muscle cells. Plants have the ability to reproduce asexually. It is this natural ability, that is the basis of micropropagation. Where does the new growth come from in plants? Meristematic tissue, parenchyma tissue, adventitious growth, and virtually any plant cell, can be involved in the new growth of a plant. Meristematic tissues, are undifferentiated cells, from shoot and root tips that have not been programmed for their ultimate development, parenchyma tissues, are the most common type of plant cells, which can regenerate, and differentiate to initiate the growth of new, and varied tissues and organs, adventitious growth, is the development of new shoots, roots, buds, or leaves from atypical, or unusual locations, there are two types of plant cell division which include, somatic cells and sex cells. The first one is mitosis, that includes the development of somatic cells. The second one is meiosis, that includes the development of sex cells. Here is the representation of, the entire process of mitosis. In prophase, chromosomes replicate to form chromatids. In metaphase, chromatids line up along the center, in anaphase, Chromatids pull apart and move toward poles. In telophase, the nucleus divide into two cells. Meiosis, or reduction division, is the process of forming sexually reproductive cells. The number of chromosomes becomes half in this process. The chromosomes segregate, so that one set goes to each of new sex cell, or gamete which are now haploid. Here is the representation of, the entire process of meiosis. The process consists of meiotic division 1, and, meiotic division 2. Why do we perform plant tissue culture? We perform this process, to regenerate plants from single cell, or plant tissues. To cultivate under sterile conditions. To produce large quantities of, identical plants, to cultivate, without the impact of environmental conditions. To save species, from extinction to isolate disease, from plants, to produce plant with enhanced stress, or pest resistance, to create new plant varieties, new varieties can also be created by using other technologies, like genetic engineering, or breeding, but plant tissue culture provides a plate form, for the production of multiple copies of those new varieties, and finally, the most important thing, we can use it to make money. But, it's more like gambling, you can lose a lot of money as well. What part of plant can be used for micropropagation? Meristems, shoot and root tips, leaf tissue, anthers, embryos, flowers, virtually all parts of a plant can be used. The only limitation is that, each plant is propagated differently and not every plant will respond the same way. Each genus species, and variety, may require a different tissue, 
which will obtain the best results, micropropagation has two general forms of plantlet production. Callus production and microcuttings, callus production, is the de-differentiation of plant cell into callus. De-differentiation, is a cellular process, in which a differentiated cell loses its special form, or function, or reverts to an earlier developmental stage. Callus is then expanded, into a large mass of undifferentiated cells. And then callus is activated, by selected use of plant hormones, to re-differentiate to produce, shoot, roots, and ultimately, plantlets. In micro-cuttings, small sections are cut from the mother plant, and placed into a media, which are grown out or subdivided, again to produce more plants. There are four basic stages, in the process of micro-propagation. Stage 1, is the explant establishment or initiation. Stage 2, is the multiplication. Stage 3, is the rooting. Stage 4, is acclimatization or hardening off. Acclimatization, means, making plant to adopt the environmental conditions. And, finally, here is the conclusion of today's lesson. Micropropagation, is the process of making whole new plants, by using small sections of plants. Plant tissue culture implies the use of callous tissue generated from plants, and are cultured in vitro, the ability to produce whole new plant, from single cell, is known as totipotency. New growth comes from in-plant by, meristematic tissues, parenchyma tissues, adventitious growth, and by virtually any plant cell. Plant cells can be divided by means of, mitosis or meiosis. Micropropagation, has two general forms of plantlet production, callus production, and microcutting. That's it, for today's lesson. I hope you guys have learned something. Don't forget to subscribe. And, I will see you guys next time.